Hello, I'd like to welcome you to uh, this course on mechanical design. Uh, so I'm going to give an introduction on the course contents and uh, what you expect to learn in this uh, particular topic. As the title states, uh, it is uh, titled Mechanical Design 1 because we have two courses. One is Mechanical Design 1 and the other one is Mechanical Design 2. Mechanical Design 1 is an upper division undergraduate course um, also concurrently uh, first year graduate course in uh, basic mechanical design so the course can be taken either by an undergraduate student uh, who is in the senior year and um, he can choose the course as an elective or by a first year graduate student who is specializing in mechanical design and want to pursue a career uh, or parts of his career would require the knowledge on mechanical design. So the course is going to uh, focus on a materials perspective to mechanical design. That is, we want to know uh, what types of materials are used in different uh, mechanical components and uh, what are the limitations on their mechanical behavior um, and what makes them fail and what makes them survive and how to design against failure mechanisms. So in other words, it's a combination of knowledge of how to do stress analysis in, uh, on some components, determine the stress or deformation or deflection or other design limitations that are useful and then use the existing design codes uh, to design against such codes so as i mentioned there are two basic two main courses mechanical design one the final goal is to allow you to design uh, a power transmission system as an example. In other words, you will learn um, design principles, material selection, uh, convenient formulas for stress and strain and deflection, failure mechanisms, failure theory, and then combine all of that in an application that is very important in mechanical engineering and that is uh, in power transmission. Power transmission, we have a source of power, an engine, we couple it to uh, a shaft to transmit this power to another location uh, through mechanisms like uh, gearing, uh, belts, pulleys, flywheels, and so forth. So this entire system has um, elements that need to be understood. Uh, for example, we need to know uh, the maximum stresses, how to design uh, bearings, uh, how to design for deflection, and uh, how to combine bending and torsion and axial loads and so forth. 